Welcome back to Beauty Marks Podcast, a space where we embrace our marks acquired through our journey. My name is Elizabeth Savion, and welcome to another episode of this podcast. I am so excited because we started February as relationship conversations, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so to stay up to date with every episode because they are going to be live every Monday here. Also, if you want to support the podcast and find value in the podcast, make sure to check out the link in bio where you can support and continue helping this podcast grow. I am very excited for this week's conversation with some incredible guests. They are a part of the She Cultivates crew, and I'm so excited to have the girls here for a girl chat. So welcome to Beauty Marks Podcast. Thank you for having us. How do you guys feel being here at Hi Hello Labs? (laughs) Intimidated. (laughs) Very nerve-wracking. Yes. It's interesting, but we're here. We're going to make it happen. So thank you for having us. (laughs) Yes, very, very excited. I love this studio space, and Mm, I am just so excited to, like, finally have the video Mm -hmm. portion um, and see the beautiful faces on here. So, (laughs) um, Ashley, if you can share a little bit about you. Okay, well, my name is Ashley. I am a business entrepreneur. I have my own photography business for about a few months, but as a hobby for two years. Um, and I'm in a relationship of five years, going strong. Hi. Awesome. Hi, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How about you, Ceci? Hi, guys. My name is Ceci Diaz. I am also a podcaster myself, so check me out at Benevolence Podcast, you know. Yeah. Um, but I'm a mother um, of a beautiful eight-year-old girl. I was going to call her baby again, but yeah, she's, <laughs> she's your baby. baby girl. She's my baby. <laughs> and I've been married, um, happily married with the man of my dreams for 11 years. So wow. that's amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> I love that. And hello everyone. My name is Nijelisa Rosario. I am the mom of two, currently 36 week pregnant. Hopefully we'll give birth soon, very soon. <laughs> and I have been married for about four years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, four years. Mm-hmm. I love how we're all like in different stages. Mm-hmm. Yes, really. yes, it's for it's sure. like we have the different perspectives here. And I wanted to bring you guys on to talk about relationships. You know, I feel like society puts this view on relationships and I kind of wanted to hear the different sides. So mm-hmm. like coming from someone that's dating, someone that's been, at, you know, kind of out of the game for a while, but you see your friends, you know, like you're still relevant and it's still there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then people that are newly single again, either mm-hmm. that they got a divorce or they are like navigating that part of their life again. Mm-hmm. So um, when it comes to dating, we'll talk about it first. It's what are kind of the views that Ashley you have mm-hmm. about dating in today's culture? I think dating in today's culture, I think people are a little afraid to kind of just put themselves out there, Mm -hmm. but I say do it Mm -hmm. because, you know, you're able to find someone, if you find the right person, of course, you're able to find someone that you can connect to, uh, draw closer to, grow with, and definitely the, what I've learned from dating, um, just being able to have conversations with the person you find, um, kind of just talk about what your expectations are mm-hmm. um, in the long run, whether it is you want to get married soon, wait a little bit, you know, what your careers look like, how does that align? So definitely for me, what's helped is just communicating with my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been five years. Mm-hmm. I'd say it's worked out pretty well. and. My biggest thing is just like I date to marry, mm. so yeah, just just being open, transparent, and honest. Mm-hmm. You guys met very young too. Mm-hmm. So we you guys, met like, when together. we were I was sixteen, oh, he was wow. seventeen. We okay. met at church. Wow. Yes. Yeah, and it was something that I was not looking for, mm-hmm. honestly. Kind of just happened. Mm-hmm. Um, funny enough, we met when our parents were getting a divorce, mm. so we kind of had that thing in common, mm. but we were also in the mindset of, we don't want a divorce mm-hmm. either, you know, like, we don't want to follow our parents' footsteps, mm-hmm. kind of just breaking the generational curse of mm-hmm. just divorce, and so I remember one day we were just both frustrated with, you know, everything that our parents were going through, and I remember we just took a deep breath and we looked at each other we're like we are not our parents Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. like we cannot be our parents Mm -hmm. and so how do we avoid that it's just communication Mm 
Yeah. So, yeah. I love that. Thanks yeah. for sharing. Of course. Because I, I feel like that stuff that, I mean, is very common mm-hmm. now. It's like people at any age in their, while well, they're in middle school, high school, like they experience that. Yeah. And it's kind of scary. It can like stop you from like Absolutely. pursuing a relationship because you're like, if it's going to end like that. And like, so you much know? more in today's society yes, too. Definitely. That people around me, like they've said, are like, yeah, like my parents are divorced or this happened in my parents' lives. So I can see why it's kind of a hesitation at mm-hmm. first. But um, I don't know, man. Also just having Christ as the center mm-hmm. of your relationship mm-hmm. is a big thing. Yeah. And that's what I've learned. Like, the foundation of that is important. Mm Because I feel like we get these messages of, like, you know, if they don't make you feel good, then it's done. Or, like, they don't, you know. And that's something that it's, like, when I talk about, like, the self-love club, it's not, like, the extreme of, like, if someone is in a bad mood or gives Mm -hmm. you bad vibes, you, Mm -hmm. like, end the relationship. No, like, some things that you have to put in work. Mm -hmm. And even healthy things, Mm -hmm. you know, take work because it's, like, even Mm -hmm. when we think about, like, our siblings Mm -hmm. and, like, people that we love, they still annoy us. Absolutely. Yeah. Still they still get on our nerves. <laughs> so it's like, how are we supposed to say that we're going to be with someone that is like the most intimate relationship that won't have those challenges? Mm-hmm. So like, I'm proud of you guys for thank like you, being so willing much. to take take that mm-hmm. step. Mm-hmm. How about you ladies? Now that you guys are married, it's like, what do you see in society today when it comes to relationships that maybe was different from when you guys were in the dating space? Um, I think dating nowadays is way harder than it was in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, definitely. Because, I don't know, I felt like, I don't know, I felt like I was older when mm. I was younger, if that makes sense. Yeah. I felt like there was that pressure to meet that person and get married, like, mm. like quick. Mm-hmm. Um, so we did. Yeah. And, I mean, I had my reasons why like we fell in love you Mm -hmm. know and and we had come from previous relationships we um that were very toxic and Mm -hmm. we knew coming into this that we wanted it for the long run Mm -hmm. but um i feel like it's harder now (laughs) i I feel like culture has changed so much and dating people and getting to meet new people is just I, i think it's like also social media has such a big part of 100%. why it's so difficult mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um because i mean back in 2009 when i met my husband instagram was didn't even exist yeah or something like that or it was just it was coming up because yeah. 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 i remember posting my first instagram post it was during my wedding and i got married in 2011 so mm-hmm. it was oh, like wow. yeah so it i was, was like it was in mm-hmm. like it was none of that it was none of that so i feel like it's harder now mm-hmm. it was easier than um but like we made it work and like i said we didn't have social media Mm -hmm. um to like make it more difficult Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like compare me and comparing where should i be yeah Yeah. we didn't have any of that Mm -hmm. so i felt like it's harder now yeah definitely Mm -hmm. to date definitely i feel like we were raised kind of in the same culture of like you get married at like 18 to like 21 and Mm -hmm. so now kind of being single in my later 20s it's like seeing how it's like that's changed like people Mm -hmm. are actually waiting longer Mm -hmm. yeah and they're kind of like maybe like we'll be together for five years or maybe we'll you know like maybe i'm not ready for a relationship at all until i have like certain things in a row Mm -hmm. so it has that push of like get married today like Mm -hmm. get married now Mm -hmm. i feel like has slowed down at least in like the circles that i'm in now um what about you nielisa well my case was different because when i dated my husband i got engaged really quick Mm -hmm. he's in the military and then Mm -hmm. he was deploying so i got we were dating for i want to say like seven months then i got engaged and then i got married like two weeks after and for everyone was a shock like what is she doing (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. like why Mm -hmm. is she doing this so fast and like in my perspective it was like everyone had this timeline that you needed to abide by like Mm -hmm. you need today Mm-hmm. two years and a half or three and I was like who said though mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like it is okay if it takes you longer mm-hmm. to get there and in our case I was like we needed to make it happen basically mm-hmm. so it's like it is okay if you find your person and mm-hmm. you do it fast mm-hmm. I think that what makes the difference is the commitment society has lost commitment mm-hmm. to it and has become afraid of marriage mm-hmm. because of divorces mm-hmm. I come from divorced parents like my perspective of marriage is very different mm-hmm. than everyone else and it's like my husband comes from divorced parents and we're like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know people usually get married with 
the option of divorce mm -hmm. and it's like in mm -hmm. my marriage we don't mention the d word mm -hmm. why why is that like an, it, it shouldn't be an option because it mm -hmm. does takes a lot of work mm -hmm. it's t two different people trying to become one like the bible says mm -hmm. and another thing that ashley mentioned is like mm, when you don't have Christ in the center of it and you don't have that intent when you go into dating like yes i am gonna marry this person it's like so it, it kind of makes you feel like i'm wasting my time with you mm. if that commitment or if that intent hasn't been put on the table because that's how i felt in previous relationship for me it was always like you know i'm looking into something more mm -hmm. and the other person was like you know what we're just here hanging around you know going to a restaurant and i was like yeah spending my money i don't get a reimbursement out of none of this <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's like a lot of things have been lost and mm -hmm. that's why it's so hard in today's society to even find someone that is kind of on the same page as you because i feel like a lot of people are also afraid of it yeah sometimes you know when you hear the things that happen like within the church of like couples and stuff like we're not exempt from going okay. through things mm -hmm. and even Absolutely. in couples like um, so I would love to, sh uh, Ceci and, and, you know, uh, for you to share kind of how has that looked like in your marriage? Like, do you feel like you were ready for marriage or do you feel like there was some stuff of like the before and after, like when you're like, ah, this is going to be a dream. And then it's like, when you go into marriage, it's not as like fairy tale. So my situation is a little different because I came from a broken relationship prior to that. Like mm. me and my husband were broken. We mm. were broken and. And I, I feel like, I feel like we were ready for marriage. Mm -hmm. I, although I was like 23 years old and he was 24, but we were ready. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of our experiences mm -hmm. and we didn't allow, we didn't bring the baggage in. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we, that was not, that was no, mm -hmm. that was a no brainer, no question. Like we weren't going to bring our past burdens yeah. into this new relationship. And we had been praying so hard you know, for God to like, just bless us with the one and, mm -hmm. and all of that. And I felt like for me and my husband, we finally felt whole individually. Mm. Like I wasn't just 50 and he wasn't just 50. Like I was 100%, mm -hmm. he was 100% healed. And then we were mm -hmm. able to work things out. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I'm answering the question. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I, I believe for me and my husband, it was very easy to dive into that. Mm -hmm. um, the commitment that we had for each other, like, I'm not saying that our marriage is magical, you know, and <laughs> it's perfect, but we committed to one another mm -hmm. and there was nothing that was going to break that bond. Mm -hmm. And I don't regret getting married young mm -hmm. um, because, like I said, I had prior experiences that had already, you know, that had that were so bad for me yeah. um, that I knew that this opportunity to have like to 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 get to know anthony mm -hmm. and to find anthony was definitely from god yeah so um with a lot of prayer and a lot of healing and a lot of restoration himself and, and myself we mm -hmm. were able to create something brand new and not mm -hmm. allow the past dictate what the future would be mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. so, i love that i don't know if that makes any no, sense but no that was no that's that's perfect because i feel like there's based on your experience because you had been in a toxic relationship yeah. so it's like you were like this is so new this is healthy yes. mm -hmm. and was that hard for you to like shift that yes it was hard mm -hmm. because it wasn't too long after mm -hmm. you know one like yeah. there was a time there was a period of time mm -hmm. in between but it's it was it was a tough journey mm -hmm. it was a tough journey and i felt like like during the toxic relationship i always had that mindset that i would never like i would never get the man of my dreams and yeah. I, this this is always going to follow me mm -hmm. you know what i mean but once i like you had mentioned i once i met him once mm -hmm. i met anthony the one that one that god gave me um everything was just complete opposite mm -hmm. of what i had thought yeah um relationships were supposed to be mm -hmm. and um he was literally everything that I needed and more <laughs> during mm -hmm. that time, and I know it sounds so <laughs> romantic, but like honestly, like no, that's we, we, it just it just works. Like mm -hmm. I don't, it's just, and I mean, eleven years later, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that we didn't have any challenges. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did have challenges. Mm -hmm. um, we still have challenges, but we've learned to grow within our love through every season. Mm -hmm. We're now in our mid thirties, and you know this is a new season for us mm -hmm. we have an older girl who's eight this is a new season for us and we're growing and evolving 
with each other yeah throughout the seasons that's and that's good. what works what has worked for us so yeah that's not thanks for sharing that's so good <laughs> uh, how about you Nia Elisa do you like since you mentioned it's like getting married young do you feel like you kind of get that messaging of like oh like you should live your 20s and then like enjoy them like do you feel like how did that look like for you so I wasn't ready <laughs> for marriage <laughs> <She's being laughs> I'm still figuring things out <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, but I am glad I gave myself the opportunity to do it young Mm -hmm. because a lot of the things that we are working on currently, at least we're doing it in our young age, even though I'm Mm -hmm. in my late, very late twenties. Um, and he's in his very early thirties. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think for us, it was quick and it also, um, the life that was coming with it, it, was what made me kind of not being prepared for marriage. Mm. Not not prepared for the commitment itself. We were committed to each other mm-hmm. and we were gonna make it work. But being that I got married, <clears throat> then he deployed mm-hmm. like three weeks after, yeah. I literally spent the first year of marriage in a deployment, mm. which the first year is crucial because mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. you're getting to know this person, right? Mm-hmm. So for my husband and I, what has been the biggest challenge is that because of the life that comes has come with it mm-hmm. it's like we have grown too much apart mm. that we have to like relearn where we are at like now mm. it's like okay i like i said i spent my first year he was deployed i was j- basically you could say married but doing my single life like mm-hmm. I was traveling I was going here and there mm-hmm. like it didn't affect me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so he came home and I'm like <laughs> oh snap <laughs> <laughs> so this is marriage mm-hmm. and it, like it was a reality check mm-hmm. and by the time we thought that we were then we had a kid mm-hmm. like right when he came back so that got added on by the time we were we had to do counseling because I was like okay we are a little messed mm-hmm. so we did counseling And when I thought that we were good, deployment called again. Mm -hmm. And it was like another 15, almost 18 months. And it's like throughout that time, throughout those two deployments, you know, we grew as person, like Mm -hmm. as humans, you Mm -hmm. know, we evolved. The things that used to interest me before, they don't interest me anymore. So I had to like relearn Mm -hmm. a lot of things for him. He just literally came back. It's gonna be a year now. I was like, hopefully no more deployments. Mm -hmm. But that has been the challenge. Yes, I have been married four years, but it's like, in reality, it's been like two. Mm -hmm. Like like living together. Living together and actually doing the marriage life together. Mm -hmm. Like actually going through the struggles and Mm -hmm. the misunderstanding. And I mean, Elizabeth, you know my husband. Mm -hmm. He's very strong-headed and very strong with his opinion. I am too. And we had to learn, like, okay, how do we communicate how do we rebuild this trust Mm -hmm. how do we relearn about ourselves now because we kind of grew like i mean you evolved as a human right so that has been kind of like the biggest challenge and then it also has been like um it has been i would say like interesting to see how the dynamic has changed Mm -hmm. and we need to like it's like redating. That's how mm. I feel like we're at mm. now. With two kids, I know, crazy. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, it's life, it's circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> we have to make the, mess, the best of it. Mm. So it's like, I cannot put a pause and be like, wait, hold up. Let's yeah. pick It's up. like life has to just happen. And then you're like, okay, I'm here. Mm-hmm. So Let's it, just continue. <laughs> and it's so, I feel like when it comes to relationships, it's like people think it's like, no, the person that you marry. But it's like, I hear that all the time for married couples. Like you're so different. And even like for mm-hmm. you, like when you met a 15 year completely different yeah, person yeah, today. Absolutely. I guys hear about like traditional marriages and like modern marriages. How did, like, what are your guys' views on that? I would love to kind of hear that. Like I want to work. Mm-hmm. I don't want to stay at home. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be like the stay at home wife, just living my life. Like, mm-hmm. I want to be able to work and continue my business and flourish in my business as mm-hmm. well. So, you know, that way, you know, we're both just good in our jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the modern way of dating, I guess you can say. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I feel like in your 20s, I mean, in any age, even your 30s, you're still building. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah. you're, mm-hmm. like, you're still, and it can change at any time. Like, 
maybe you get a new job or you start a whole new path. Like mm-hmm. I've, I've seen so many videos like on TikTok of people that are like, I quit my job. I started something else. Like I've been in this field yeah. for so many years. And yeah. then you're like, wow, like you're never. But the, the thing in that is like they have a supportive partner mm-hmm. that is like, oh, go yeah. after your dream. Absolutely. Do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm very modern not traditional (laughs) a whole nother conversation (laughs) but um that's something that you're you know what I mean like you hear and you see and it's just different people do it a different way and Mm -hmm. I feel like there's no right way it's Mm -hmm. like whatever you as a as a person find like the things that I want the things that Mm -hmm. you want the things like each of us are so different Mm -hmm. um when it comes to marriage are those conversations come up of like either expectations or like maybe you doing your own thing and then them doing their own thing or things together. How did that look like? For me, um, I'm a very modern, um, have a very modern marriage mindset. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's because my my parents are very traditional. Mm. Um, my mom has always worked. That's mm-hmm. the only thing that's okay. a little different than traditional mm-hmm. is that myself, my parents and Anthony's parents, we do come from both working, like yeah. both sides, they work and they mm-hmm. have their own careers. But my mom, in this case, she was the, uh, what do you say? Like, she cooked, she cleaned, Mm -hmm. you know, she pretty much did everything. Yeah. And then my dad's um, mindset was more like, I'm the provider, I bring in the money, Mm -hmm. and that's all I do. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that by observing that, which was, like, not bad, Mm -hmm. you know, um, but I was like, oh, heck no. <laughs> um, like, not so, for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mm-hmm. believe it or not, although I met Anthony years ago, you know, mm-hmm. a, more than a decade ago, um, and that mindset of traditional marriage was still, like, a popular thing, yeah. mm-hmm. but I was very modern, and mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not following in my mom's footsteps. Like, we are going to divide the chores. Mm. We are going to, mm-hmm. um, you are going, I know this sounds so <laughs> bad, but this sounds so bad, but whatever. Like, I still have my friends. Mm. I'm mm-hmm. still going to hang out with my friends. Absolutely. I'm still going to have my girl time. Mm. Um, I'm still going to have my alone time. Mm-hmm. Um, I can, you know, you can go play ball if you want to. You can hang out with your guys. You can record music on the side because that's what he does. <laughs> yeah. he, you know, he records his songs and stuff. You know, you. I'm going to continue mm. to, like, fill myself up, if that makes sense, yeah. or, like, accomplish those goals and, and, you know, live that life that I've always wanted to, but now I just have my partner alongside mm. me. Um, so cooking is, yes, an issue in our marriage. <laughs> I do not like cooking, be, but the only reason I don't like cooking is because I saw my mom escape to the kitchen, mm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I said I will never be um, that person. Mm. So, yeah. So does he cook? No. <laughs> his mother has blessed him and his family with, like, providing the breakfast lunch and dinner and um when he came into the marriage when we both united Mm -hmm. his expectation was that i would continue to fulfill what his mother had (laughs) done for him Mm -hmm. and unfortunately it was a rude awakening because that was not (laughs) absolutely not (laughs) absolutely (laughs) not absolutely (laughs) not you know the first year you know i did the best that i could with Mm -hmm. what i knew and Mm -hmm. and you know all that like the basics Mm -hmm. but now like 11 years in we still have issues with who, what are we gonna eat today? Because yeah. I I mm-hmm. don't like to figure that out. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't I don't feel that. I don't know. That's my. Yes, I know it sounds so so <laughs> bad. Like it's. I'm not gonna say that it's not my responsibility. Yes, as a wife, I need to like figure it out. But no, I need your. I need you with me. Yeah, you need to, we're mm-hmm. figuring this out it together. It is like our house. Yeah, so it's like our house. one of us. Yeah, like, you're, you're not gonna like you had to figure out how to eat too. Yeah. So you, then you can pick <laughs> yeah. up something. So no, I completely. I'm I, on yours, I understand. definitely <laughs> established those expectations yeah. from the get go. Mm-hmm. I'm not good f- with finances, mm-hmm. so I told him you're gonna take that, mm-hmm. and that's something mm-hmm. that he. He's, you know, he he majors in accounting and stuff, so that he's very great cool. with numbers. Yeah. So I was like, you know That's what, since you're good at that, <laughs> yeah. there you are. Yeah. Um, and I'll take care of the rest, mm-hmm. but um, the cooking aspect, no. And I need the chores around the house to be divided. There's, mm-hmm. like, don't sit down, and then mm-hmm. you see me running around <laughs> mm-hmm. the house. Like, before yeah. you sit down, ask me, babe, is there anything that you need me to do? And I'll probably say no. I'll probably say no, you can sit down. 
but as long as you asked me mm-hmm. yeah. you know and, he, and you were like cordial and said hey you know mm-hmm. check up on me before you sat down mm-hmm. i appreciate that a <laughs> hundred times more yeah. you know is it's 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 definitely probably the only thing that that it's the only challenge that we have in our marriage mm-hmm. is that um, even 11 years later, he still has an issue with that. Mm-hmm. And he'll say, but the wife is. And I was like, ah, <laughs> don't be bringing that up here because I'm yeah. not. I'm not mm. the traditional, like, wife. Mm. Like, I'm, I work. Yeah. I, I'm a teacher. I work just as hard, you know, just mm-hmm. as much as you do. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, like, I'm bringing money into the household, too, mm-hmm. you know. And I, like, I tell him, don't get it twisted because... <laughs> Like, it's mm-hmm. not like that. So, believe it or not, as young as we were when we got married, I still had that modern mm-hmm. marriage mindset. Yeah. But it was because of my of my parents. Mm-hmm. So, you know, seeing that and seeing, I was like, no, that's not me. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I made sure that that hey, was you. not going to be. <laughs> He's like, that's <laughs> We were going to, you know, go that way <laughs> in yes. our marriage. So, wow. Yeah. No, thanks for sharing. Because I'm sure that there's, like, wives that like relate to that and they're like well like maybe my traditional marriage i mean i'm more modern than traditional or i'm Mm -hmm. more traditional than modern in certain things like nadie says she cooks like she does all her meals so like we have (laughs) both we have (laughs) it's that's gonna be another episode how do i do my weekly (laughs) (laughs) because i was the same way with my husband and one of the things I hated the most is like, what we're going to eat? I don't know. I'm going to say, well, I don't know how to cook that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I had to come up with creative ideas to make it easy for myself because mm-hmm. that was also a challenge. And I use a lot of a slow cooker. That's what I do. Yeah. But for me, I'm like 50-50. Mm-hmm. Like my husband, he kind of makes the money in our household at this point. Um, and because of the season that I'm in, I have little kids. I'm renewing my contract, my stay-at-home contract right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I, because of this season, I have decided upon myself to, you know what, it's cheaper to stay at home and make money from home. And it's also good because of my kids. Mm-hmm. So that was a decision that we made, mm-hmm. and I just took the jump. But when it comes to my husband, he can be more, more traditional, which I'm fine with. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm okay sitting around nothing wrong with it Mm -hmm. but he does give me the space to like okay do whatever you want i'll take care of our needs so you can flourish Mm -hmm. in other things so he does give me the flexibility for me to be part of she cultivates and like Mm -hmm. that's what you want to do go for it Mm -hmm. i always have said it my husband is my number one fan Mm -hmm. i can tell him you know what i'm taking a rocket ship and i'm (laughs) gonna make it to the moon and we're gonna build the venue in the moon and he's like (laughs) at what time we're heading out (laughs) yeah we love that so he is very supportive Mm -hmm. when it comes to that um you know my mom always kind of like made money Mm -hmm. my dad was an entrepreneur himself and i guess Mm -hmm. that's where i get the mindset Mm -hmm. um from i don't see like myself like not doing nothing and not working like Mm -hmm. that's not me i'm a busy bee i I need to be Mm -hmm. doing something if not i'll go crazy Mm -hmm. so that's when kind of like the more modern side of things Mm -hmm. comes out like yeah i would work and i would continue to work because i just don't know how to sit down i just Mm -hmm. don't know how to relax like that's not me but then I could be a little bit more traditional, at least in the season, because it's like, at least I have the opportunity to be at home with my kids. Yeah. You know? And it's something that not a lot of parents have the opportunity to, like, I basically have spent, like, three years with my son. He hasn't been taking care of anyone else mm-hmm. aside from my immediate family and myself. Mm-hmm. So it's like having that opportunity, I bet, I mean, my husband kind of like open the doors like is it something you want to do okay let's make it work at the end of the day i think you just need that teamwork Mm -hmm. right at the end of the day i always said that the bible says it's very clear when it says that you become two will become one so you become one flesh and in becoming one flesh you become a a team right Mm -hmm. and you work towards a end goal So whatever that looks like for you, whatever that looks like for you, it's like you just merge into something. And it's like, okay, my strong suit might not be cooking. Isn't yours either? Because that was always a conversation, always food. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But then I was like, okay, so how can we make this easier for us? Mm -hmm. Slow cooker. 
amazing. You mm-hmm. put it on six hours, you forget about it. And it's mm-hmm. like, okay, slow cook meals every single day. Mm-hmm. Like count me in. Mm-hmm. So, but I found I'm a problem solver. So it's like, is this a problem? Okay, let's find a solution mm-hmm. for it so we can work as a team. Finances was a big thing for us. I'm very much organized. I was raised by, by an accountant. So mm-hmm. for me, finances have been always a thing. My husband likes to be involved, but okay, I pay the bills. You organize them. How about that? So mm-hmm. I know what comes in. I put the money where it needs to go, mm-hmm. and then you just take care of organizing it and that and being at agreement that you're not buying more shoes, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like just like merging two different because at the end of the day you're merging two different people two mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. cultures i mean mm-hmm. i'm dominican my husband's nicaraguan it's like two different cultures people mm-hmm. that come from different backgrounds and how we make it work for mm-hmm. us so i that's where like when it comes to traditional and more modern it's like no i create my own mm-hmm. and this is what has worked for us um so far the best advice i have ever gotten and this i got it when i was pregnant with my son is like you do what's best for you and your family. Mm-hmm. If that works, works for your family, go at it, go mm-hmm. for it. When it comes to roles, when it comes to cleaning, um, hello, I cannot clean the house by myself. Mm-hmm. I am gonna need help. Mm-hmm. You better see my two-year-old picking up the broom too. <laughs> <laughs> you need to train him young. Uh, yes, because yeah. 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 it's like it's a team mm-hmm. effort yeah. at the end of the day. And as family, we're just we're just a team, mm-hmm. and we work not against each other, but you know with each other towards an end goal yeah no that's so true i think about like when i was living like on my own i'm like if no one else did it like i had to do it Mm -hmm. so it's like for when i think about a home i'm like that's like Mm -hmm. both of you guys that's both of your place um and and i love that i feel like it's vision focused too like Mm -hmm. like marriage or relationships being intentional of like this is where we're both going and it aligns like each of you guys have relationships where they all support what you do and they Mm -hmm. see the strengths in you to be like more of that like what do you need so that you can flourish in that and Mm -hmm. you do the same thing for Mm -hmm. for them you know um like i know your um boyfriend's in like ministry right right now he's not but that is a goal that he's always had Mm -hmm. and that's something that i've always supported a hundred percent because that's his calling Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. so you know why not support it you know why not Mm -hmm. step into the calling that god has for Mm -hmm. you so um it's definitely been an an adventure and a journey just to get to that part Mm because you know ministry working Mm -hmm. ministry is not always the easiest Mm -hmm. thing but i believe it's very possible with god and just having the passion for it so Mm -hmm. yeah because i feel like sometimes we help them build Mm-hmm. for like the future too because i've yeah. i've known like women that it's like they make the money yeah. while the while their partner's like figuring things out or they're on on entrepreneurship mm-hmm. journey and then it like flips later on you know yeah. so it's like and then how you said seasons too it's like maybe there's a season of like you being at home but that's not like you're s- stuck at home i would mm-hmm. say you know like you're able to navigate that mm-hmm. because of that support so what are your guys's thoughts on kind of like what would make a healthy relationship or like what like how she shared like a best piece of advice of something that you would say has helped in your relationship over the years um I know I've said it earlier but communication Mm -hmm. was definitely a lifesaver for me Mm -hmm. um I was very afraid to communicate if there was ever an issue Mm -hmm. or something ever bothered me because I've had experiences where I did communicate and it never ended up well. Mm. So going into the relationship I'm in now, when things did bother me, I just didn't communicate. Mm. But I saw the effects of not communicating mm-hmm. because I was getting upset. Mm-hmm. My mental health was like mentally, mm-hmm. I like I wasn't doing okay because if you keep doing it, and it's it's still gonna bother me because I'm not saying something about it. Mm-hmm. And I just had a friend that was like, you just gotta do it, like. I know probably in the season that you are now, you're afraid to do it. You're probably anxious to speak up about something that's bothering you, but you got to do it. And so I did the, I communicated what I was feeling and I saw the effects of it. It was like, okay, like I understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that that hurt you. I'm glad you communicated because now I know not to do it for the next time. And so with anything that we do now, 
uh, we make sure to talk about it. If we're upset at each other, we make sure not to end the day without talking about why we're upset. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, that's just, at least for me, that's what's helped my relationship a lot. Mm -hmm. No, and it's key because it's like also it is, understanding. Yeah, like absolutely. you hear that all the time, like oh, communicate, communicate. But it's also like, it's so but true. Do the, does the person though hear you? Like it's right. like communicate, but it's like also the understanding mm-hmm. of like that affirmation that mm-hmm. he gave you of like, thank you for yes, letting me. Know. Not yes. like okay, like she's nagging at me. Communicating. Right. So that's important. What I've learned is like people are not mind readers. Yeah, <laughs> I've 100%. learned that the hard way. <laughs> I know we can be like silent treatment, and they're like chilling. They're like, oh my right. god, she's. <laughs> She's so quiet today. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Finally. I know. (laughs) But no, yeah, like, even though it's so repetitive, even though that's, like, the most basic thing you can hear, I think it's the most effective thing in your relationship that can happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. So um, a couple things is, first, lay down your expectations very early in the relationship. Mm -hmm. I think that's what worked for me. Um, I mean, me and Anthony... Like I had stated before, we came from uh, toxic relationships prior. So we learned a lot Mm -hmm. (laughs) and we suffered a lot. So we kind of knew what we wanted coming into the next one. Mm -hmm. And I I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we establish, well, it depends on where you're at in the the dating game. I'm Mm -hmm. telling you, like, things have changed Mm -hmm. after Mm -hmm. 11 years. But we established our expectations on our first date. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. we're very, like... Like I'm, I'm, I'm ready for commitment, mm-hmm. but th- these are my expectations. Mm-hmm. So that's what worked for us. And um, the second thing is to have grace, have a lot of grace mm-hmm. with your partner. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are evolving. You guys are growing. Um, you guys are learning about each other through different seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I had a lot of mental health situations throughout my marriage that my husband didn't know how to deal with Mm. and we he had to navigate around my feelings and I had to navigate around his feelings Mm. and how to cope with my issues and I had to cope with his issues and I feel like you have to have grace with your partner Mm -hmm. through every season um so that you can learn how to kind of like fit the puzzle piece like Mm. I guess that's how I kind of see it Mm -hmm. like whatever I'm missing he just kind of like fits right in and completes those puzzle pieces Mm -hmm. that I'm missing at the time and like if I'm needing strength he'll be you know the one that brings me strength you know things Mm -hmm. like that but definitely establish your expectations in the beginning and then have grace with each other throughout the seasons as parents as well when you become parents have grace Mm -hmm. with each other because he does not know it all I do not know it all Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is no manual there is Mm -hmm. no person that can tell you how to be the best parents to these Mm -hmm. humans and you know have grace with each other Mm -hmm. and have grace with yourself um and i believe that is has that's what's helped us Mm help us get this far Mm -hmm. you know just do you feel like for the for the kid you know for for parents to have kids what is something that you guys have found has helped to like get to like an equal or maybe an understanding ground Um, in the relationship well what ashley has said communicating Um, we need, we needed to communicate as parents Mm -hmm. because unfortunately I'm the bad cop here. Um, (laughs) according to my daughter, I am the bad one. You know, I'm the one that, you know, lays down the law. Yeah. I lays, (laughs) lay down the law Mm -hmm. and daddy's like the teddy bear and like this save me, I'll come rescue. Mm -hmm. And then there, there are moments where I'll say, you know, I'll, I'll take something away from her and then like, he's not on the same page with me and he's like giving her what I had taken away. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro. (laughs) <laughs> like I just do you know why mm-hmm. like so constant communication mm-hmm. ha- is what has what has helped us become better parents like mm-hmm. communicating with each other and before we make a decision we consult it first with each other and in private not with the child there mm-hmm. we consult mm-hmm. it in private mm-hmm. then as a team mm-hmm. we come to my daughter you yeah. know my daughter's a little older so we can talk to her like that Mm -hmm. but um we come we come to her and we explain to her why and we say that look we're doing this but doesn't mean that we love you less Mm -hmm. we need you to you know we need you to learn from this because we god god you're our gift you Mm -hmm. are our greatest gift god gave us your gave us your life as our responsibility and we are giving you everything that you need all the tools that you need to Mm -hmm. survive in this world Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so just communication yeah for sure i love that what about you nearly so um, I would say it 
you learn to pick and choose your battles. And I say this to myself constantly. <laughs> there's some battles that you pick them, there's some battles that you choose, and there's some battles that you just let them be mm -hmm. and you fight them with God. Mm -hmm. I have learned that the hard way. Because mm -hmm. if it were for me, I would pick them all and I would just battle mm -hmm. with myself. But mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. it's like, Am I actually edifying my husband? I, am I actually making any progress? Mm -hmm. Or am I just adding more to the problem and just mm -hmm. building on to things? Mm -hmm. um, I had to like really learn and it's something that I want to put into practice mm -hmm. more. But you know, some things, it's like, you know what? So okay, I'll deal with God on that one. Mm -hmm. Like, it's fine. I'll let you win that one. It's okay. Then I go to God, I'm like, you know he didn't win that yeah. one. <laughs> so let's talk about it. <laughs> but that helps because some things comes from the heart. Mm -hmm. And as much as, yeah, you speak from the heart, we don't know what our husband's heart are in. And sometimes mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that they could, I mean, I do it, that I would keep things to myself, right? Mm -hmm. And I have noticed that in any time we go through an argument, and I just like stay quiet and I'm just like, are you gonna do something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you gonna mow that hard? Mm -hmm. And then later on, then my husband will come and say, you know what? I shouldn't have said it that way, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that has made me realize like, sometimes you as a woman, you have to learn. I mean, the proverb says that you, you're there to build right at the end of the day, not to destroy. And sometimes we just have to Shut it down and be like, you know what? It's okay. That's mm -hmm. fine. Though I appreciate more of that than you saying something that might hurt them because mm -hmm. it has happened to me because you just get in the heat of the moment mm -hmm. and then you say something that hurts them and then you just like adding on and stacks. Yeah. So being slow to speak. <laughs> and react. <laughs> like and react. Spicy. And mm -hmm. some things, it's like, you know what? They're not going to get resolved right now. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it tomorrow. When both heads are like leveled yeah. and we're not so heated in the moment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good, good. Mm -hmm. you guys all share gems i love it <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, learning. I'm learning i know exactly <laughs> you're not Take notes girl <laughs> no and my counselor always says like the best preparation is really like before marriage mm -hmm. like that you can actually learn and like being around people that have healthy marriages mm -hmm. like even for us mm -hmm. like i feel like that's so important because it gives you kind of like not that you're gonna follow everything but it's like that possibility or hope that you're like it's possible to have like yeah. a good healthy godly marriage in mm -hmm. the society we live in mm -hmm. you know and it's possible to continue to grow and continue to like flourish in what you're doing like each of you guys are doing your things with a partner alongside you you know like i know there's independent queens but it's like at the mm -hmm. same time you can have those um good relationships Absolutely. so thank you guys so much i love Welcome. this conversation and i will be sharing all their contact info in the link in bio and i hope you got something out of it if you enjoyed the conversation make sure to subscribe and share it with a friend and i'm sure I'm going to watch it back and take notes of all the things that they said because I feel like you can learn so much from women that go through the same things that you do. Sometimes you think you're the only person. You're like, oh, does any couple go through this? And you heard from two ladies today and someone that's in a dating relationship, like things that challenges or things that they walk through. It's not always picture perfect and that's okay. We're all still growing and learning and um, I hope you just know that you're not alone and make sure to subscribe to this podcast, leave a review, and I will see you guys guys next Monday.